It's July 16, 1776. A copy of the Declaration of Independence has just arrived in Worcester, Massachusetts. People gather by the Liberty Tree to hear it read, and they get so excited, they start ringing the church bells and beating drums and shooting their muskets and firing cannons and building bonfires. And in the evening, in the taverns, they raise their mugs and offer toasts. King George rejected and liberty protected. Well, where's your huzzas? Where's your huzzas? I mean, in revolutionary times, if you hear liberty, a toast to liberty, you respond with a huzzah. So let's take it again. King George rejected and liberty protected. Huzzah! Yeah, yeah, okay, more and more toasts. How's this one? This is my very favorite. Perpetual itching without benefit of scratching to all enemies of America. Huzzah! Yeah, okay, and finally this. May the freedom and independency of America endure till the sun grows dim with age. <laughs> yeah, it's all about freedom. Freedom. Parliament can't tell us what to do, how to think. We can think for ourselves. We can govern ourselves. But Parliament says, oh, no, you can't. No, we know what's best for the good of the empire. Just trust us. Trust us? Why trust Parliament? But why trust anybody? Today we have corporations and media and bloggers, politicians, your textbooks, your teachers, they're all trying to make you think a certain way. If you just trust them, if you believe whatever they say, you are not free and they are your masters. First rule of freedom, don't trust them. Second rule of freedom, find out for yourself. So if I tell you something's true, don't just take me at my word. Push me on it. Make me show you the money. How do I know what I claim to know? Make me cite my sources. Cite my sources. That's where footnotes come in. Footnotes are pathways to the information you need so you can find out for yourself. Footnotes are the original search engines, and they're totally democratic. Anybody can follow the footnote trail. Equal access to all. Here's an example. Suppose I tell you that George Washington was anti-tax, and here's why. This is what he said. No taxes can be devised which are not un inconvenient and unpleasant. See, he hates all taxes. Maybe he's a modern Tea Party guy. But cite your sources, you say. Okay, I'll cite my source. I got this quote from Washington's farewell address in uh, se September 19, 1796. So you go in the internet, you look it up, you see for yourself, and you say, wait, Look what he said just before that. For the payment of debts, there must be revenue, and for revenue, there must be taxes. So if taxes are evil, maybe they're a necessary evil. And then you see here how he, how he concludes. It is necessary for public opinion to cooperate. We need a spirit of acquiescence in the measures for obtaining revenue. So in other words, stop complaining and pay your taxes. That's Washington's final message to the nation, the very opposite of what I was telling you. So here's another example. Suppose I say America didn't, didn't become independent on July 4th, 1776, like we all think. It became independent two days earlier, July 2nd. You gonna trust me? Go for it. Cite your sources, you say. Okay, I'll cite my source. My source this time is the official records of Congress. It's on the internet, you can go look it up for yourself, and you'll see that's when Congress voted to become independent. And another source, I've got another source for you here, a letter from John Adams, who was in Congress at the time, to his wife, Abigail. And the letter is dated July 3rd. And the letter says, it's the second day of July that will always be celebrated as the great anniversary festival with pomp and parade and guns and games and bells and bonfires and illuminations, kind of like we celebrate the 4th of July. But the second, because that's the day they just voted for independence. This time, the sources bear me out. So let's huzzah for July 2nd, the day that Congress declared independence. Huzzah! And for July 4th, the day Congress actually explained its actions in the official Declaration of Independence. Huzzah! Yeah, and let's hear it for freedom, the freedom to make up our own minds. Huzzah! Yeah, and let's give it up for democracy, the sharing of information. Huzzah! Yeah, and for our equal access to sources so we can all find the truth. Yeah, and to be patriotic. 
to be, oh, you're a little early there, to be patriotic, I like it, the energy, to be patriotic, to be free and democratic and to get to the truth, let's have three final huzzas for footnotes. Huzzah! 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 Yeah, all right.